The flood disaster in South Carolina, already the worst flooding there on record, and it's far from over. After four days, more rain is expected today. As much as one inch is likely as the state tries to recover. Floods are blamed for at least 19 deaths, hundreds of closed roads and bridges, and 17 failed dams. David Begno is in Andrews, South Carolina, with the latest. Good morning, David. Vanita, good morning. Behind me is Highway 41, and it is underwater for nearly three miles, 16 feet of water. At this very moment last week, we were in nearly knee-deep water in Charleston, South Carolina, and who knew we'd still be in it two hours to the north here in Andrews. In front of the 16 bar and grill, the water is nearly knee-deep, but across Andrews in many places, the water is up to 20 feet. We took a tour yesterday with local officials, and as one state senator said, to see it is unreal. There is water as far as the eye can see. This was yesterday in the town of Andrews, South Carolina, about 100 miles southeast of Columbia. Rooftops of two-story homes are barely visible. That's the local Shriners Club. This is a home which was on stilts and is now at risk of floating away from its foundation. That's my house there. We had to take a boat ride to see the devastation. First with Scooter Gatson, who's lived in his house for five years. Have you seen flooding like this in this area before? Never, never. We then met up with the Andrews Police Chief, Canera Capers, and State Senator Ronnie Saab. We floated down local Highway 41, which is now under 16 feet of water. Enough water to trip the train tracks. It's devastation. I mean, there is no other way to, uh, to describe it. It is sheer devastation. Senator Saab be says residents that, shouldn't be fooled by what has been beautiful winter. weather these last few days. I hope that folks uh, take away that the danger uh, is far from over uh, and that they will continue to heed uh, what they're being told. 72-year-old Shelby Poston has nearly five feet of water in her home. I am homeless right now. I've lost everything that I've worked 50 years for. Like most people in this area, she does not have flood insurance. Her home is not even in a flood zone. I would have to use my life savings to rebuild our house. You know, I don't know if we'll ever be able to get back what we lost, but um, we, we are alive, so we thank God for that. They are a resilient people here in Andrews, South Carolina. There is a 13 mile stretch of Interstate 95 that is closed today. Workers will be there working to shore up portion, portions of the interstate that have been washed out. And the bad news is there's a 90% chance of rain today. They could get at least an inch here. The water is still rising slowly at this point, Anthony. But the governor says it could be around for another nine days. David Begno in Andros, South Carolina, waist deep in water just as he was a week ago. Thank you, David.